Did you guys hear about this? Lenovo is now shipping laptops that are locked down and only boot Windows by default. According to Lenovo, this is a requirement by Microsoft meant to enhance security. But the fact of the matter is, this is nothing more than a ploy to exclude alternative operating systems from the desktop space. Don't believe me? Well, look at the facts. The ThinkPad Z13 features Microsoft's new Pluton security coprocessor. Attempting to boot Linux off of a USB stick straight up fails and doesn't give a clear explanation as to why. And according to Matthew Garrett over on Dreamwith, the reason is Microsoft's own third-party UEFI certificate authority is no longer considered trusted by Secure Boot. This boggles the mind, as this means that the only operating systems allowed to boot on these secure core machines is any operating system signed by Microsoft Windows PCA. That means Windows, at least with the default firmware configuration. But as Garrett points out, there are no security benefits to this. If you want security here, you're paying attention to the values measured into the TPM, or the Trusted Platform Module. And thanks to Microsoft's own specification for measurements made into PCR7, switching from booting Windows to booting something signed with a third-party signing key will change the measurements and invalidate all sealed secrets. It's trivial to detect this. Distrusting the third-party CA by default does not improve security. It just makes it harder for users to boot alternative operating systems. And according to Lenovo, starting in 2022 for secured core PCs, it is a Microsoft requirement for the third-party certificate to be disabled by default. This means that by default, new ThinkPad owners who try to install Linux will be halted in their tracks with no helpful error messages, no pointing them in the right direction, just silent failure. So let's just look at this secured core architecture. What is it and how does it work? In order to suss out that, we actually have to step back for a second. But before we go any further, let me ask you a question. Are you enjoying videos like this? Do you believe in the work that I'm doing? Why not like that smash button and tickle that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the awesome stuff we're doing here on the channel. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the summer, and I think with your help, we can do it. And thanks. Just about every x86 UEFI system with Secure Boot support trusts two certificate authorities at a minimum. The first is the Microsoft Windows Production PCA, which signs the production builds of Windows, and the second is the Microsoft Corporation UEFI Certificate Authority. This is the one used by everyone else, including Windows drivers that operate in the UEFI environment, as well as Linux and other OS's bootloaders. Now, the issue is, up until now, trusting both CAs was the default on the vast, vast majority of x86 PCs. That means that you could install Ubuntu or any other Microsoft CA signed Linux distro while keeping Secure Boot enabled. And for all the hemming and hawing that we've seen from a select group of nerds, Secure Boot really does live up to its name, thwarting malware interested in meddling with the bootloader process. However, things seem to have changed now that Microsoft has its Pluton security chip and a new set of apparently black boxed standards that only OEMs have access to so far. Oh, did I not mention that before? Yeah, the guidelines for secured boot PCs are not available for anyone but OEMs to access right now. So we have a lockdown system that only accepts the Microsoft Windows Certificate Authority keys. Microsoft Secured Core Guidelines invalidate all third-party CAs, including Microsoft's own third-party CA, and Microsoft is not releasing their guidelines on Secured Core PCs. So the answer to the question I posed earlier is we have no idea what Secured Core actually is. So what's their justification for any of this? What's the reason that they've done away with third-party keys? Well, Again, I'll refer to Matthew Garrett, who proposes an interesting and somewhat plausible reason for Microsoft to ban third-party CAs. Kinda. System vendors frequently want to ship diagnostic or management utilities that run in the boot environment, but would prefer not to have to go through the trouble of getting them all signed by Microsoft. The simple solution is to ship all of their own certificate and sign all their tooling directly. So has Microsoft turned a new leaf? Are they actually trying to protect end users uh, against bootloader level telemetry and data collection installed by the vendor? No. The secured core Lenovo I'm currently using is an example of this with a Lenovo signing certificate. While everything signed with the third-party signing certificates goes through some degree of security review, 
There's no requirement for any vendor tooling to be reviewed at all. Removing the third-party CAs does nothing to protect the users against the code that's most likely to contain vulnerabilities. Now look, that could very well be the main reason Microsoft decided to prohibit third-party CAs, including their own, but because Lenovo is actually shipping their own certificates, doesn't look like that's actually the case. Microsoft could have any number of justifiable reasons for this, and if they have them, they haven't released their rationale. Unless we forget, Microsoft is the enemy. They have always been the enemy. They continue to be the enemy. And it's really screwy to me that Microsoft, the enemy of software freedom and digital autonomy, is the sole trusted certificate authority across the entire x86 PC space. And they're self-appointed, mind you. The reason OEMs implemented UEFI Secure Boot in the first place is because Microsoft mandated it and made themselves king. And they've been pushing for it to lock down the ecosystem as much as they can. Much of it is in the name of security, and it can all seem like it's coming from a good place, but the fact that they haven't released their guidelines for secured core, they haven't shared their rationale for disallowing third-party CAs, it's beyond excusable, especially since they're the ones making and enforcing all of the rules here. So that's why I'm calling for Microsoft to step aside as the sole certificate authority. It's time for a vendor neutral industry coalition to implement these standards, vet the code and sign all the binaries. Microsoft should not be the only steward of PC security. It's dangerous and unethical. But I would like to know what you think. Why do you think Microsoft has prohibited third party certificates? And more importantly, why haven't they released their rationale for doing so? Leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. And hey, while I've got you here, I wanted to run this by you. My girlfriend Emily and I started a YouTube channel uh, called Gardner and Emily. Pretty creative, I know. Over here on our channel, we're doing all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, and I know it's not really the same kind of content as what I've got going on over here. But if you wanted to check it out, it'd be greatly appreciated. Use the link uh, in the box that just appeared on the screen if I remembered to actually put the box there. Uh, we have a ton of fun doing this. We got new ideas. We got new content coming. So uh, yeah, head over there, hit subscribe if you're so inclined and thanks. I wanna give a special shout out to Delicious Kashmiri, one of my top peer singularity members over on Patreon. It's because of folks like DK that I'm able to continue growing this show into what it is today. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you wanna help this show grow, use the links below to pledge your monthly support over on Patreon or as a YouTube member and thanks. I think that's gonna do it for now though. Don't forget to hit that smash button and caress that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll see you guys in the next one.